how to fix insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site. In Google Search Console, Page Experience Report may be showing HTTPS failing. And if that is the case, in this video session, we're going to explore ways for fixing it and also understand what could be causing this problem. As promised to rank your fans, I'm maintaining a blog post whereby there is a checklist that I've created today. Furthermore, there are some sample codes for you to consider as well. So let's go and see what's going on. HTTPS failing could be caused by various different reasons. What Google wants from us in terms of having our website set up correctly will be actually explained in this video, okay? So HTTPS obviously is to do with your SSL certificates. Usually web hosting providers take care of that. So most website owners don't go and install SSL certificates manually. So let's go and explore server configuration and I'll show you what to look for. I'll assume we're using cPanel, okay? But if your website is set up using hosted WordPress, Magento, Shopify, Wix, you'll still gain insights from this video in terms of fixing insufficient HTTPS coverage. So when we log into our cPanel, there is a menu link for redirection rules. So you can press on that and triple check if things are correct here, particularly if we are using a naked domain, domain that means without www, and if there are any redirection there, then you gotta make sure that the pages that you have submitted using your XML sitemaps match the URL pattern with your website. Okay, so I've su submitted these two, let's go and see. I'll show you what I've just meant. Because here, as we can see, okay, there's that's a page not found. There is URL patterns here, right? So if you've submitted XML sitemap, then make sure the URLs here is using HTTPS and it's using the correct version of your website that you want Google to index, such as www in this example but yours could be not having www. If that's the case, then you gotta make sure the redirection on your website is using consistent URL patterns. Then, if you utilize one-click apps, sometimes the URL pattern for the domain could be different. If that's the case, you can double check that and remedy it accordingly, as in change it. Then, your domain portion of your cPanel, under domains, you'll have domains. Now, here you can see redirect to, but here it's not redirected, right? So you can actually force HTTPS redirect here. So you can do that through domains portion. You can test that as well as in I can turn that on if I want. Currently it's off. Another area for you to obviously triple check is SSL certificates. The menu links are all from your cPanel. So you can find SSL TLS and then look to see it's all green, your certificate is not expired and so on. Remember, you don't actually modify things here. It's usually the web hosting service provider takes care of that. All you need to do is make sure certificate is valid. It's not expired. Another area is some C panels do actually give you the status of your SSL certificates because SSL certificates could be used for subdomains, main domains, and so on. That means whichever pages you're submitting to Google, 
because your website could be installed in a subdomain. And if that's the case, make sure the status of the SSL is actually working for that subdomain as well. Then most websites are installed within public underscore HTML folder. And in there, there is a file, dot file. It's called dot HTXS file. You can right click and view that file. Here, make sure that there are redirection rules that is redirecting your website and web pages to the correct URL patterns. Make sense? Let's imagine this scenario. Let's imagine that your website was using dub 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 and yet dot HTXS rules are redirecting people to non dub 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 version. If that's the case, Googlebot may actually pick that up. So checking dot HTXS file could definitely be of help to you. Now I'm not going to show you the, the different rules because there are many different rules you can use within dot HTXS file. Anytime you modify this file, make sure that you have created a backup and also read through your web hosting service providers help section because getting things wrong in .htaccess file could actually make your site break okay so now what else can i show you also you can as i've shown to you in the previous video tutorials you can actually use f12 on your keyboard and press on network tab and refresh the page and then Check the response code, header response. What did the browser request? Here, you should not have 301, but instead it should be 200. There are many tools available on internet, such as HTTPS status. You can provide your domain address. You can actually check canonical domain check. You can check status to see what is going on in terms of the request to that address and what's the, 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 the hop, so to speak. And as we can see, when I've tried to request the URL for my website, it's gone through some sort of redirection here. That could be related to your web hosting, as in how your website set up, or it could be related to the rules within .htxs file, or within redirections and so on. But it's only in your best interest to see what the response code is. You can use Web Developer Toolbar Network tab, or you can use various online tools to check what's really being requested. Now, that is the checklist for server configuration. Following what I've just shown to you should actually help you to fix HTTPS failing problem. That will be the case. Now, let's imagine this is perhaps the second part of this video tutorial, because within it, I'm going to show you what Google actually wants in terms of you know, search engine optimization of your site, so to speak. And that is to do with your website. Yeah. Google actually wants websites to tell Google what the canonical URLs are. What is a canonical URL? Canonical URL basically tells Google. Okay, let me show you a sample page because then it'll make more sense. Let's press on Control U on our keyboard and let's find Kana Nickel. Popular content management systems, most of them will have a link rel canonical tag. And within that, that URL should match the URLs you've submitted to Google. Canonical URL basically means 
that is the original source of that content as in that is the address so when search engines see that particular tag rel canonical and if they end up seeing other versions of this url pattern perhaps without the forward slash perhaps without the dub 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 because search engines can actually see different versions of a page and if that's the case canonical url tells google saying you know what it doesn't matter which versions of the urls you've seen or crawl make sure you treat the canonical url as the original source make sense that's what that means that means a lot of means but that whatever is within xml sitemaps should actually be using a pattern for rel canonicals and if your website setup does not have rel canonical then keep in mind google actually encourages website owners to tell google what the canonical urls are then check 3i1 redirections as we've seen we can use our cpanel to create 3i1 redirection rules or popular content management systems will have plugins whereby you can create 3i1 redirections now if that's the case you need to triple check the url patterns making sure they are using https version you need to update links to point to https version it could be the case some of your menu links are not updated because that happens i've seen it on many websites that i have optimized that means let's imagine wordpress and you may have used um, custom links to create your menu structure or it could be links within the footer section it could be links within the sidebar it doesn't matter which links in terms of having better optimized website you should have your internal links using https version because if they're not then search console will pick them up and then complain that means if you recently installed ssl certificates and updated your website to be HTTPS version then recheck your internal links and update them to point to HTTPS version this includes the internal links as in whether it's on the menu whether it's on the sidebar footer or within the content area the links that you're using should be following HTTPS furthermore keep in mind that google may actually pick up image urls as well because they are also addresses make sense so if i was to let's imagine i want to add an image here let's add this one see that's a that's an address it's a source with https here so make sure you have updated your internal linking structure including images or if you're using perhaps pdfs or you have different type of content such as videos or documents whatever the url you, pattern you're using make sure they match the url pattern including https then that's okay mixed content issues what does that mean that means right now let's request this url without that forward slash to see what happens i'll zoom in just take a note of what comes after this e-business here let's refresh this page you see that forward slash yeah in terms of google that's two different urls and here the url could be using valid ssl certificates 
and yet the content within this page could be pointing to non-HTTPS. If that's the case, that's called mixed content. When you update your website internal links, as I've just suggested to you, that will actually remove mixed content issues as well. The reason I've highlighted that point is because if you're utilizing background images for your website, perhaps using CSS background for certain parts of your site, then you need to also triple make sure those URLs within your CSS files are also using HTTPS or else you may get mixed content issues. And Google suggests to have a better website is to make sure we do not have mixed content problems because HTTPS index, uh, um, coverage could be caused because of that. So now let's explore Google Search Console. As I've suggested to you in the previous two videos about HTTPS coverage, we can now check our performance reports. We can filter page URLs containing with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Let's run a filter. As we can see, there is nothing here, but yours could be different. So now you know where to look in Google Search Console. Remember, we're looking at performance. We've just applied a filter saying URLs containing the non secure version. As suggested in the checklist, check submitted and indexed URLs. You do that through coverage report. You do that through valid, submitted and indexed. Here, make sure it is using HTTPS. So URLs are using HTTPS. And we also know that forward slash pattern is important because in terms of Google, that's two different URLs. If a URL has forward slash, another URL doesn't have that forward slash. So that could be the problem as well. So therefore, you need to triple make sure the XML sitemap URLs match submitted and index URL patterns. And we've done that. Now, finally, since I know that I have triple checked everything, and I know that everything is okay. I could right now leave everything as it is. Let Google naturally recrawl my website and update its database, or I can speed up the process. I can now say, okay, Google, you know what? Let me, actually, let me copy the whole link. Let me remove that sitemap. There is another sitemap. I want to remove that as well. I want to paste as in submit a new sitemap using the same one. Also, keep in mind, if you're using plugins to create your sitemaps, most of them actually create one parent sitemap. That's perhaps not ideal for certain content management systems such as WordPress. Instead, ask yourself, what is the pages that you want to show your website visitors? As in, what is the pages that you want to rank for? And only submit those within XML sitemaps instead of the parent sitemap. Make sense? because that will help you avoid many, many problems within Google Search Console. Let me also show you another method to quickly speed up re-indexing and re-updating my website for Google. As I've shown to you, you can delete the sitemaps and resubmit. Once you are comfortable 
knowing that you have identified what the problem is with SSL and HTTPS on your site, and I've just shown you all the possible angles, then once you're comfortable making sure all is working, then you can delete the sitemaps and then resubmit that to Google. Another way to let Google to re-update its database is you share a updated link on your social media profiles. Because what happens when you share a link to your website on your own social profiles is that Google follows that link. And it's always efficient and curious in terms of the links that it comes across. So that could be a way for you to speed up the process of getting Google to re-update its database and remove insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site. Once again, right now, if you're rather confused as to it's too technical for you to cover these angles, then you need to get a hold of a web developer if you haven't done so, because HTTPS is a ranking signal. And if it's not remedied, then eventually Google will treat your website as non secure Once again, Rankia has created a new service on online marketing services URL that could still be available depending on when you're watching this particular video session. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.